last time. Our heroes. I was trying to remember what led up to the fight, then I realized we just started with the fight. Our heroes. Yeah, no, we were our yeah. heroes working. Uh, continued their confrontation. <laughs> yeah, they they <laughs> began in earnest their fight with Team State's leader Mr. Kate. Thirty Speed. balls. Yeah, with Team State's leader Kate Spee. And sure, I don't know how I hold all these. Jinx <laughs> Went through yeah. the first his first three waves of foes. They fought lots of Pokemon. They fought a Mega Venusaur and a Mega Swampert. And One they of all... which was much harder to kill than the other for some reason. <laughs> and also they had he had a uh what, what, what uh, he, he had Z moves. Hisuian. He had Z moves. And his yeah. Pokemon. Which is not as impressive as you might think. And now, as the battle continues... He also had an Excadrill. As the battle continues, they are now facing down a Mega Incineroar. Among other things that are being sent Which out looks now. looks awesome. Mega Incineroar. Nice. I, yes. also, I, also, I, I, li I love his fur jacket. Yeah. <laughs> This one, I, I, want to, I want to say real quick that this one was, uh, I didn't get this one custom made. I, I, I asked yeah, for permission to get, use this one by someone that, that made it. Uh, give me a second to pull up uh, who it was. It was uh, made by uh, Max, M-A-C-K-S, Fakebon on Twitter. So I'm just shouting them out real quick. Hey. Oh, cool. I think I prefer this to the other alternate version of Incineroar I saw, which was his uh, Gigantamax form, which made him look like Macho Man Randy Savage. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Oh yeah, I mean it's in a roar. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. He was I, fighting a giant mech. I'm, was a thing. I'm always I'm always going to be salty that the generation that introduced megas did not have the starters with megas. <laughs> that do be weird. Yeah, yeah. They gave it to Charizard instead. All right. They give Charizard every the special boy. They give they give Charizard everything. They gave him a Gigantamax. Yeah, and two mega evolutions. The the Have only you thing heard they of did. The floor is lava. Meet my belly is lava. The only thing they didn't give him is like a Pokemon specific Z crystal. <laughs> All right. Anyway, as he sends out the rest of his Pokemon, obviously you've seen the Incineroar, and now he is sending out. All right, we actually don't know the rest of the wave yet. <laughs> Yeah, he only sent out that. There's still five more. It's almost like we were doing it for dramatic effect. He also sends Ooh, out... Ooh, I like the music. Magnazone! Ooh, boy. Okay. Quad weak to ground if we have it. Unless it has levitate. Kingler! Uh, I believe Magnazone can't actually have levitate. That's why it has magnet rise. Correct. Florges! Okay. Ooh! Oh, you went for red, you basic bitch. It is the <laughs> second best color, though. Sneasler! <laughs> oh, no, we did. We, we actually, actually fought... know what this thing is like in battle. We fought one of these before already. No, we fought the tiny version, I think. No, we fought this one, I think. It's it's fighting, it's fighting poison type. And Rhyperior! Oh! Jero, look, it's your vengeance. Okay, <laughs> so... This one is not a ditto, as far as you know. <laughs> Electric Steel, Water, Fire Dark, Fairy. Is else all just always surprised when you look at Rhyperior's picture and remember he has holes in his palms? I don't like it. <laughs> I do not like. Oh, also don't forget we do get the chance to do a healing if we use it. We can do that before, yeah. before we start. All oh, right, right. Oh, okay. yeah, we got, we, got, um, we got a free item turn. What do we want to do? Let's see, where everybody at? Uh, Malison yeah, is but... almost down. Let's see, do I want to give her anything? I say almost down, like she's not a technically what's half for this fight, but uh, that's still well, very Remind me, we did end up freaking reviving Dune, right? Yeah, that would have been for you to. Keep yeah, you guys, you guys, you guys, you you revived and fully healed Dune. Right. Okay. So he isn't the reserve. It's freaking. Yeah, uh... I'm 
just because I have 11 Orin Berries, I might give Malison one just for make a difference. Uh, no, no, I need, to, I need to get the Mega Sheet for Apollo. Hold on. Now, here's a question. Do you want another revive? Okay. You, you do still have mm. two more Pokemon down, so... I mean, considering, considering it's Chomper and, and, and Lapis, I don't know if they'll be useful with these right now. Probably not Lapis in the long run, but Chomper maybe. I really wanted to use the champion music, and it just the the uh, actual official ones from the games just the, fir the the original one is great, but it's so obviously like eight bit, and then the later I ones are yeah. and then the later ones are very disappointing in comparison. Is it just me, or does it look like Mega Charizard is above half on his HP bar? Uh, uh, that, he, got, that he, got, he gets an HP buff whenever he Mega evolves, so he technically is. Yes, uh, the HP buff ignores the whole halfway thing, uh, so. He is above half because uh, Charizard normally has a hundred or two hundred health, which is uh, shortened to one hundred. Mega Charizard gains fifty, so mm. becomes one fifty. All right. Uh, so if you're not gonna, if you don't need my help for anything, I'm just gonna use one of my dozen orange berries on Malison just because I can. Last call, Cage. You want to revive? Uh, I'll actually go into Duke because I feel like I'm gonna need it. I was actually going to use um uh bacon. Oh wait, do we have eat don't, don't we have eat sister now? I do I have I have an I elixir and I'm eaters. Eaters. The, Yes, wait, I prepared. Those, the, wait, those are the ones for the for the single move or the for all, all moves? Ethers is one e ether is one move, elixir is all moves. I don't think we have elixirs, do we? I have one. I also. Saving. I think we each have one. I actually do not have one. I I thought I did, but I probably had a lapberry. Okay, Malison gets six health back for what that might do. But you know, well, then I'm gonna do the elixir to get freaking the. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna do the freaking a uh, lapberry to get freaking his uh his um. Uh, Oh, it's back because he was down to one. I'm basically out of fire moves on Malison, but it's okay. She's not going to last much longer. She's actually been in here since the fight started. Nothing's fast enough to keep up with her. Let me see what I got for her. And uh, Velvet's also been in a long time for the same tactics, just saying far away and using range. Yeah, but Velvet's also buffed to hell right now. It looks like Shenron might not last much longer, especially when there's a fairy type on the field. What's Malison's HP looking like? 47. Out of a possible, like, 77. Alright, have a potion. All right, cool. She's mostly down to just poison moves at the moment, but I can still apply toxic to people and disable when necessary. That's still helpful. Uh, also, real quick, uh, what is uh, what is Malison's speed stat? And I also need I need Shenron uh, and Malison's speed stats. Uh, twelve. Uh, Shenron is nine. All right. I don't know. I don't know what roll twenty did, but for some reason my turn order is fucked and it's all white. Uh, Just for reference, I'm gonna show this in voice chat spam to show wh why my turn order looks fucked for some reason. Oh, that is not what I thought you meant. No. Uh, what? Oh, oh yeah. uh, turn dark mode off and then back on, maybe. Uh, I'll refresh first to see if that does it, then I'll try that. I cleared my cache in Chrome, but I'm not using Chrome for this. Uh, where... Uh, let's see. Dark mode 
off. Nope, that doesn't fix it. That only changes the border. For some reason, turn order is fucked. Refresh it. I did. I have. Oh. I mean, I can. I can. Did you try turning dark mode on and off? Yes. Okay. I, 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 I literally just did that. Well, no, like he said, I'm going to refresh first. I didn't know if he had time to do both yet. I've tried uh, both. It doesn't fix it. Okay. Well, j j j just deal with it if you can. It's fine. I. It's exactly. highlighted. Yeah, because I, I looked at it on the thing. It's, it's just the text that's white. You still see the, the pictures, so. I can I can actually still read the numbers. They're, like, off-white. All right. So, uh, items. What's everyone doing? I did an orange berry, and Rhino gave me a potion. All right. And, uh, Jero, are you using any items? Yeah, I, I, I used the left berry to restore, uh... Uh, like in Shenron's art skills, it was down to it was down to uh, it was down to one, so now it's back to five. Ah, okay, then we're ready to continue. All right, as the Pokemon come out, Paul, we're starting at top of the initiative order again. Going hard on those drums. All right, Tim. Oh, Tim is, uh... Tim is muted. Paul, the favorite of all. Yeah. I still need... I, I, I'm working on the highlight for the 64 Book of Mario now. Did you get to watch the highlights for the Thousands of Doors one? Oh, yes. <laughs> and it reminded me of just having to read that with you and wondering if that permanently screwed up my grammar. <laughs> This shit is not nothing. You're right, Max. This makes it so much better. <laughs> I worry about my second car accident. <laughs> Hang yourself now. Whoa, easy there, Bakugo. <laughs> Jero, you played you played Thousand Year Door, right? Yeah. You yeah, need... been, it's been a while, but yeah, I remember, I remember Thousand Year Door. You should, you need to check out Book of Mario Thousands of Doors. It's, it's Thousand Year Door, but all the dialogue has been put through translation a million times. Oh, dude, I, I think I remember, I remember some, some choice words coming out of that one freaking one during a stream. Viviana, you are poop. <laughs> I see three, but you're here and are a horse. <laughs> I am here to end my father. <laughs> really? Thank you! You will regret everything! <laughs> uh, the shit about Book of Mario while we wait for Tim. Let's see, what, a, what other great moments were there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, hey, I call to adventure to sit down on my nose. <laughs> the soda you had to get for uh, Admiral Bobbery was uh, cut the neck. <laughs> I forgot that. Though we are going to Rogueport, we are here to kill. <laughs> <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Yeah, so you definitely need to watch it. it <laughs> oh, it's my turn. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm starting with Paul. Okay. Uh, Paul is going to... Let me get his sheet open see my options. There's a few targets he could go for. And we don't... T there's no dr drought active, correct? not sunny weather currently uh let me actually check just to see if anything has uh anything for that ah uh because right here you came out it is a sandstorm oh goody no that's the opposite of what i wanted okay so that's that far If I...
Mm -hmm. I'm only part... I just started editing the highlights for the N64 book of Mario, and I just remember that Goombario was named Goverman. <laughs> oh, right. I remember it was weirdly political, now. And then Chapter right. 3 was very insightful. And Bowser married the star of Rodin. <laughs> <laughs> Since, uh... I wanted to go for Hyperior, but it's slightly too far away, I think. Uh... I can get to here. Actually, I think I might just barely be able to reach him. If I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, he is... Yeah, he, he is currently 10 feet away from you, so... Okay. Uh, now that I'm within range of Rhyperior, I want to go for a... His physical defense is going to be high, but I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go for a Fruit Flail. All right. Uh, before you do, just because this is something I uh, forgot to do, uh, because Wave 4 has started, would you like to roll a D4? Sure. Ooh. All right. I got four immediately. There is only... Every time you guys have done the D4 for this, you guys have gotten a four, except for one time when someone got a two. Yeah, that was me. Uh, uh, I'm gonna let you because Paul probably isn't the best choice for this. I'm gonna let you choose one of your. Uh, do you want to actually? Hmm, neither of these Pokemon would actually be particularly good for this. Uh, I didn't really choose any electric types to go along with Shaka this time. Uh, well, see, it's not it's not for that necessarily. Uh. Do you want to give it to one of your current Pokemon, or do you want to save it for when slash if you send out a physical attacker? I'll save it for later. Okay, because it would be better for a physical melee attacker. But I'll basically next when you send one out, it'll 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 happen immediately. Well, the three remaining Pokemon I have on standby are melee attackers, so I'll be fine. All right. So let's go. Ah. I Jeez. crit. Nice. Whoa. So that oh no. It and it's rock yeah. around. So this is going to double. Okay, so that's yeah. 39 plus 9 to 48 plus 16 to 54. 64. Double. 128 damage. Hey, guys! My barrier's gone! <laughs> wow! Hell of a start. <laughs> Paul, Paul sees the source of the sandstorm, and he, he uh, narrows his eyes, and he beats his wings fast to clear through the dust. And he sees the Rhyperior out of the corner of his eyes. He flies through and he smashes his tail right through him like a wrecking ball, knocking him down. Oh, by the way, Max, uh, Sylvia's trying to drown you again. Yeah, hang on. I need to do this for Paul. I came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> that was a really good damage roll as well. I didn't roll lower than a three on any of those T8s. Yeah, Jesus H. Christ. All right. Fruit flail, fruit flail OP, baby. Rhyperior. It's the second move it gets to be. Rhyperior had crazy good HP, all things considered. He had 125 health after being oh, cut so, in half. So I, I, I went 16 over his maximum. <laughs> no, you went three. Oh. Over yeah. his maximum. Good, good fucking job, honestly. <laughs> Paul got a nat 20 on his initiative, and he's using it. He have, he just one-shot the tankiest thing on that side of the field. <laughs> wait, you, uh, everybody on the field! Like, wait, Rhyperior goes down, everybody stops fighting and just kind of looks over for a moment, like, did that just happen? <laughs> well, uh, unfortunately for me, the next opponent immediately is Sneasler, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, yep. you, you are you are ten feet in the air, and it's not big enough to reach you. So I'll probably have to have a uh, roll to tr or to jump to try to hit you, but it is gonna try. But its All claws right. are so long. As it's going to, uh, I'm gonna roll. Let's see. Considering I'm it's now imagining it jumping up and shoving Paul in its basket. Considering its speed stat and uh, its attack stat. Honestly, I, think, I mean, I think it would, pro it would probably be able to uh, be able to just do it. So I would, I would say, considering what this thing is made for in the game and how it's built, it can probably just jump and hit yeah. that issue. Yeah. If nothing else, it backs up and gets a running start, and it's going to jump up and it's going to try to hit Paul with a dire claw. Oh no. Uh, Let's see this. Twenty-nine hit physical. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my defense is only a 23. All right, uh, and because super effective, it is a total of 26 damage. Oh, and only 26? Okay. Yeah, the... Oh, yeah, yeah, the stab roll was really low. Uh, uh, what secondary effect? I forget. Uh, roll uh, probably a, roll, being poisoned. Roll a d4. One. No additional effect. Yes. Oh wow. It's uh, if you if if you roll a two, you'd be poisoned. A three, you'd be paralyzed. A four, you'd be asleep. The rare uh, time the status roll being a one is a good. Thing. Well, uh, next up is you, Rhino. Well. Gotta do my best to protect Cade, because his are dropping like flies, and there's a fairy type over there. Indeed there is. Hello! I should be grass type! I think that's that's your whole shtick, is that you should be, but you're not. Here's the thing about Florges. Not only is it not a grass type, it has a unique ability that benefits grass types. So not Wait, itself. <laughs> It's something like, you know, actually, hang on, because I, I, do, I do have it. Uh, basically, uh, it makes allied grass types stronger in some way. I think it's like immune to stat lowerings or something. And that doesn't affect itself because it's not grass type. It's, a, it's, a, it's like how for no reason at all, Grappelock is pure fighting instead of water fighting. All right, Dosh is going to come sliding in and is going to try and help take out Floor just quickly with a flash cannon. I swear to God, if you crit too. No, I think he just misses. Oh, we're back to this. Does not hit. I'm sorry. <laughs> now I will Slide say, back, you, sadly, you guys did did get your inspiration recharge because it's a new session. Well, that was your final flash cannon. Yeah, yeah, it was, but the damage was kind of ass. Oh yeah, yeah, you rolled two ones on the main dice. Oh yeah, that's really bad. Unfortunate. All right, Malison. All right, she is gonna look at that Magna Zone over there, it's 40 feet away, so she's gonna move in one, two, also three, Also, the Sandstorm is gone, by the way. Sure is. It barely got started. It played the first five seconds of Darude Sandstorm, and that was it. <laughs> she's, she's, gonna ki she's gonna kick up some dirt and throw her last mud slap at it. At Magna Zone? Yep, does a 21 hit? It does not. Damn it, I, that was my last one. <laughs> and now it I... floats out of the way. All right, uh, she only used four feet of movement right there, or four squares, so she'll go back another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, Mega Incineroar. Meep. Oh no. Ah! Oh, perfect. Oh, no. You're weak to fire oh, and. No. You're weak to fire and dark. As he starts charging in. Do, 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 do. He jumps up into the air and. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> jumps up. And it's going to come crashing down with, quite literally, Heat Crash. Oh. Which does an extra dive damage for every size larger than the user the target is. Oh, I read that the wrong way around. Never mind. He's going to use Fire uh -huh. Punch. <laughs> He's going to use Fire Punch. So Heat Crash is good against larger opponents. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not used to moves that are like that. Alright, uh, that's 29 to hit physical. Jesus. Maybe. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's roll the super effective. That is 40 damage. Ow. And I need you to roll a d10. Okay. Uh, okay. Burn. New. All right, now roll a d4. What? Oh, uh, this is a secondary effect. He caused like extra burn or something. Haha. -ha. All right, you're safe. Woo! King La! Well, he's got some choices here. All 
Uh, I think... Yep, he's able to barely do it. He's going All to right. scurry up over here with Malison in range, and he's going to slam his claws onto the ground for ripping up a bunch of uh, a bunch of the the tiles as he sends a rock slide at Malison. No, oh, that's not good. Uh, 20, uh, 22 to hit physical. Yeah, her defenses are low. All right. Luckily, luckily she's only regular weak to rock damage. All right, uh, that is 30 damage. Owies. It's a good thing she got that potion because she can take maybe one more hit. <laughs> clink, clink, clanks his claws together. Shenron. Hit the big cat, hit the big cat. <laughs> hit the big cat, please. You get flanking right now. Incineroar. <laughs> Jer, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Alright. Oh, wait! You, you're asleep. What? Yeah. Wait! What? Wait! wait. Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry! No, that is not that is not asleep, that is lowered uh, special defense. I need to not use that because that looks too much like asleep. I was like, when did that happen? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know what to use for lowered special defense out of all this shit. Isn't there not like a broken shield icon or something? That's what I'm That'll using for physical. Defense. That's what I'm using for physical. Yeah. Uh, this, I guess. Okay. Wait, no, not three. One, one, one. All right. Oh okay, yeah. Go ahead. You are not asleep. That was me misreading it. Um, okay. In that case. Uh, hmm. Oh yeah. There's a broken shield, but also next to like the ninja symbol. Ninja symbol is a crack icon. Yeah, the crack is what I'm using for special defense. The shield is physical. He has both because close combat. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, you don't... Uh, oh, it's auto hit. You're aiming at Incineroar? Yep. Alright, All you right. get that another D10. Yep, add, add the uh, special... Or it's super effective. Uh, 33. Not bad. As the attack now stri you... strikes him in the back, he turns to look at you. Cedar Now you want to get the fuck away from Florges. Does this look like the face of mercy to you? I mean... Does it, Rhino? Does it? A little bit. Jero? Um, Pagan? Uh, are you gonna move? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have him move over here. Alright. Bag the zoo! Oh, wait. Doesn't work. Alright. <laughs> well, he really only has two things in possible range. Yeah, and one of them resists uh, both his things, so... Gonna float on up here. Oh, dear, I'm dead. As he turns to face towards Malison. And he's going to send off a Thunderbolt. Okay. Her special defense is not that good either. Well, it doesn't matter. It's a 30 to hit. Yep. Okay. I'll hopefully survive this, but it's going to hurt. Uh, that is... 33 damage. She survives on 4 HP. The berry, the berry helped. All right, roll, roll a D4 or D10, sorry for paralysis. No. All right, Velvet. Velvet. All right, well, Velvet definitely doesn't look like the look at that guy, but uh, seeing what all's on the field, she is going to assess her situation here and decide. Uh, okay, we'll try. We'll try something first, though. So... Uh, doo -doo -doo. But, uh, she's going to slide doo -doo. here, and she is going to focus on Sneasler, as she is going to summon her last Psychic. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah, quad week. Let's see it. Come on. Yeah! 
Yeah. Okay, so that is, uh... Now, uh, I'm noticing also, a trend! <laughs> now, uh, if I may point out, she is also triple calm-minded, so that's plus six, which is also doubled, and also she gets her stab because of the, uh, Reese's orb, so give me, uh... Give me that's already in there. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind, that was the answer nope. from the crit. All right, so it's currently 37. So you get to add 2d12? Uh, uh, nope, hold on. It's plus 1d12, uh, plus... Six. Okay, so let's double all that. So I say forty-four to uh, eighty-eight. Well, don't you get to add another D twelve because you crit? Well, the, no, it's qu it's uh, quad, so it's just doubled. No, but you get to add. You still get to roll both die and then double it. Oh, you know what? Tim is right. You get to add another D twelve. Ah, sorry. Instead of eighty-eight, what I meant to say was a uh, hundred and two. Is it dead? <laughs> no. But it's very close! <laughs> yeah, Velvet. You probably would have killed it if you if it was actual stab, just added on to that. <laughs> Apollo! Hey, I wasn't done. Oh, sorry. Velvet again! <laughs> now I'm done. Apollo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, having, I'm just having so much fun going, it's in a bore. I'm just imagining you doing it quietly to yourself. It's in a bore. It's in a bore. All right, uh, Jero. Jero. All right, go on to floor just until until he comes back. All right, floor just is going to look over at everything that just happened and go, "Oh no, you didn't!" and is going to uh. Uh, after seeing you one-shot it, it's gonna aim for Paul. After seeing uh, you one-shot the Rhyperior, uh, as I thought, I thought it would go for the quad week thing, but that's fine too. It, 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 it would normally, but since it moved away and you're right there and scary. <laughs> Fair enough. It's uh, not like I have anything good against Florida specifically, but I do hit hard. It's going to, uh, actually... Uh, before it does anything, Catesby is going to pull something out. Oh, no. And energy is going to flood into a gem that he has before it coalesces onto Florgis. Oh? As Florgis terrestrializes. Say so what? Gaining a fairy type terrestrialization. So now it just has super stab? Essentially, yes. Because, uh. So the way terrestrialization works is this it turns you into a, a pure type of that, but you retain other stabs. And when you do moves of the type that, that uh, you are terrestrialized into, you do an extra two stab dice with those attacks. And now it's going to Moonblast Paul. Okay. Uh, 31 to hit. Yeah. For a total. Total of... 48 damage. Well, I can't take another one of those. As it fires a huge beam at you. Oh, uh, Travis is just going to be like, Guys, what the heck is that crystal heart on its head? <laughs> uh, I don't think any of you guys would have been to Paldea, because technically this adventure started before that game came out. So, hmm. You, uh, if you guys want to see if you know what Terrasalization is, go ahead and roll... 
history? Alright, I'll give it a shot. 24? You have heard of what terrestrialization is. You don't know about, like, uh, what, like, how, what causes it or anything, but you do know, like, what it is. Uh, it's a power that, uh, boosts, like, can change a Pokemon's type and boosts its, uh, power with that type of move. Oh, so I think I've heard of this over in the Paldea region. It's kind of similar to Megas in Dynamaxing, but it's different. It's like a temporary form that shifts the Pokemon's type and gives them extra power. Aiden, you just think it's a cool hat. Eh. Uh, Gerald, are you back? That's a no. Alright. Paul, the favorite of all. You just got blasted oh. in the face by a flower. Paul is still barely holding up right now after that huge hit, but he's going to look down at Sneasler. He's going to beat his wings. He's going to go in for an air cutter to finish it off. All right. And uh, or I could miss. Uh, I, would really prefer, I, I would really prefer not to miss. So I'm going to reroll. All right. That hits. 21? Okay, cool. So that's 21, and I get to add an additional D8. So that is a 22 flying damage? 27 because of the stab. Oh, wait, no, sorry. I was looking at the, uh, the newer damage. E either way, it goes down. It had eight health left. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> that's... And then after finishing it off, I'm going to fly away to one, two, three, four, five. No, I don't want to get near Incineroar. I'll fly over here. Sorry, Kamo. All right. Gosh. Well, All you right. Have, well, you have nothing good versus Incineroar. This uh, is unfortunate. Hang on. I'll check after every turn. Jerry, are you back? No. All right. Gosh. So, question. Uh, with moves like Recover and stuff, those are also sort of cut in half by our little weird thing we're doing right now, right? Yeah, I would assume, it, it, yeah. It, it, it goes based on, like, it says, like, by half your hit points or something, right? Yeah. So it would essentially be a quarter of your maximum hit points because it would be half of what you have access to in this fight. Yeah, I was thinking about that earlier because I have synthesized. You're, right. you're, and you're not able to substitute right now because not enough HP. No, I can the substitute would also realistically yeah that would also now. be that would also be cut okay with and very fact, very think... few exceptions the the hp being cut in half applies to everything and is just for the sake of the fight going by a bit quicker and in fact i think that's what i will do substitute all right let me grab the let me grab the doll eh, where you want it yeah really you're on the okay. option when it resists everything else you can do uh, let's just put it right there. Oh, wait, I didn't... Uh, did I ever update the... I'm trying to see if I ever updated the uh, thing for this when you did that big change to it. I didn't affect it yet, but, you know, I'll, I'll look into it after this turn. So just assume that's me, and I'll do some movement once I double-check some stuff. Alright. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I think I would have updated it, so... Uh... Da -da -da -da. For now, when you use those two, you cannot move more than 30 feet away from the doll. Okay. I oh, yeah. Good. Yeah, I did not update it then. All right. So, yeah, you cannot... And since, since he cannot be targeted, Dodge is just going to go like, okay, then. We. <laughs> All right. Jerry, are you back? Incineroar right. didn't know this was a handicap match. <laughs> All right. Malison, the other fire type on the right. field. Well, she one is, of them. She, she is barely standing right now, but defiantly, she's going to look at the Kingler, and she is going to spit on it and use Toxic, automatically poisoning it. All right. So she took one step up, and then she's going to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Jeez. 
She is the fastest thing I have, other than I think Joker. She spits at Kingler and walks away, doesn't elaborate, leaves. I mean, it's going to be able to catch up to me and finish me off, but that's the best I can do. Incineroar! Still, still no Jero, it seems. Uh, Incineroar is going to uh, is going to turn and try to attack Shenron with a drain punch. Uh oh. Sit up, roll! Uh, 23 to hit physical. I'll check that. Definitely hits. Uh, yep. Alright, so that is... Uh, that is... Because of the close combat, that is 22 damage to Shenron. And 11 health back to Incineral. Jero, are you back yet? Yeah, it's been gone for a long time. Yeah. Kingler is not a fan of the fact that he just got spit at. <laughs> and uh, so it's going to come after you. Yeah, I'm going to die here, but that's okay. She lasted way longer than I expected. Cookie, 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 cookie. See, he's for cookie. That's good enough for die. As it's going to uh, hit you with Razor Shell. Yeah, it can hit me with literally anything and I'm dead. Yeah, uh, that's 29. It hits. It's enough damage. You're down. Yep. Bye, Malison. You stuck around a long time. You were a big help. And then, uh, let's see. Poison damage. Take six damage for poison. The poison counter goes up. Okay, so Malison got a turn, so whoever I go throw in to replace her will have to wait a while regardless. Yeah. Tinkaton is out. Getting down to fewer options, but I still got a good amount. Uh, time for the big one, or I guess smaller in terms of size, but uh, Travis is going to throw out Kong, whose health I need to fix. Ook, ook. But uh, he has a very staggering for this formula. Uh, 115 health coming into this. Nice. All right. He, see, he sees Incineroar. He sees that belt he's wearing. He's like, I must have it. All right. Roll that initiative. All right. His initiative, his speed stat is a plus nine. So let's see. Yeah, he's gonna be waiting a while. Oh boy, yeah, he do he he doesn't get a turn this turn, and he's at bottom of the initiative order. It's gonna be a while. Yep. Not uh, much I can do about that. Uh, would you like to use the uh, the D four thing you rolled earlier? You already rolled it, so just would you like to apply it to Kong? Since he's basically my strongest Pokemon overall, yes. All right, as Kong comes out, a blast of electricity from outside the dome, outside the force field seems to pierce through the barrier for a moment, electrifying Kong's fists. As the next three attacks it does that hit, hit <clears throat> will automatically inflict paralysis. Ah, oh, I God. gave you static. All right. All right. Next would be Shenron, but Jero's still not here. Magnazone. What's that, Jero? I thought I heard something. Oh. No, I guess not. I remember when Jero used to play with us. Man, yeah, he's gonna have three turns to go through when he gets back.
<laughs> Magnezone really doesn't have any options except for Apollo. No? Uh, there's something he can do. As Magnezone is going to move up to here. It is going to uh, conjure up electricity from all around it as it tries to unleash a thunder upon the substitute. Uh, and that hits because substitute has a 16 for defense and special defense. And that was in total a 17 to hit. The substitute is definitely gone now. Because that was Oof. that was forty two damage. Oh yeah. All right, Dodge is vulnerable again. Velvet. Oh. Got anything for Incineroar? Uh. Not quite. I think the most I could do is neut neutral. Oh yeah, because fire does resist fairy damage. But I could give something a shot here. Let's see. Uh, not sure that one's worth it. But, I'll try. As Velvet is going to uh, back up more, and she is going to spin her ber her barrettes as she also focuses energy between her hands as she is going to unleash a tri-beam at uh, Incineroar. Sorry, Sorry tri-attack. Tri yeah, I was going to say. Wrong, right. wrong franchise. Twenty-one special. Probably? Nope. Really? It uh, usually doesn't have that very good special defense. It's mega. I only hit when I crit. <laughs> well, Jared's gonna have three turns to do when he gets back. Yeah. All right. Florges. Uh, Florges is going to move up to here and it is now going to attempt to moonblast Shenron goodbye Shenron <laughs> if you would have had an extra turn if Jero was actually here and that does hit it's definitely gone he does not have yeah it, 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 it was, it, it's a total of uh, like 68 damage so yeah Okay. Where, where did Gerald go? Because he, did, he didn't say anything, right? He didn't say he was leaving. That makes me think he got called away suddenly. But it's been like half an hour. Yeah. Done more than an entire turn since he left. Or round. I'll mark with an X for now instead of deleting it. All right. Paul. Paul. I was going to do one thing, but I'm not sure if it would, in the long run, save him because he's just going to get targeted after he does it. So he's going to fly down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And actually, he doesn't need to be that close, so he'll be one away. Yeah, that works. And he's going to target the floor just with a Mega Drain to regain some lost HP. Or Giga Drain. And that hits. Alright. Uh... 30, 34. Half is uh, 17. I can regain 17 hit points. Alright. And as the floor, as the floor, floor just... He sees the foliage across... Fo Florges' body that's used just as decoration and he drains the life from it, wilting them. Nice. Dosh! 
You are not protected anymore. Well, you're about to go down on your next on the enemy's next turn. Might as well go down swinging. Uh Does Dosh still know Thunderbolt? Yes, yes I do. Right, yep, this is in range. Uh, I'm gonna unleash Thunderbolt at Kingler. Hopefully? That hits! Nice! Okay. You get to add 2d6 to that. Yeah, not bad. 29 damage. 29 Dimaggio's. Alright! And d10 against Paralysis. Nope. Nope. A lot of threes on the d10s today. Alright. Incineroar! Incineroar sees a, uh, sees a fighter. And he's, yep. he's ready for a challenge. He's going to charge in. And he is going to... Uh, Kong still has those, like, the, the punch punching glove, right? He does. Uh, Incineroar sees that, and he's going to try to smack it off of Kong's hands as he's going to use knockoff. Uh-oh. 21 to hit physical. Misses by one. All right. He, see, he sees the blow coming, and he just weaves backwards like when a real... If a real professor, if a professional wrestler tried to fight a real boxer, they'd just get their ass kicked. So Kong sees the punch coming, just dodges, dodges out of the way. Yeah, because boxers actually fight. Wrestler, wrestler, yeah. Wrestlers do choreographed shit. There was actually a big event in the late 90s where they tried to make a bunch of wrestlers do boxing matches, none of them being professionally trained, and a bunch of them just got knocked out because they don't know how to take a real punch. Yeah. Kingler. Kingler is going to scurry up and is going to send a, a rock slide out again, this time at Apollo. Oh dear. Uh, I'm pretty sure 24 hits. Let me double check. Probably. Uh, oh, finally. There, there you are. Oh, he's Jeez. back. Sight. You, you, half, you, what wait. would happen? That was half an hour. Oh, Vegan. That was my fault, Vegan. There was a bit of connection issue on our end, and, it, and it, for some reason, it, like, took Discord out of whack, my bad. Ah, okay. You never left the call, so that was just weird. All right. Uh, Rock Slide does hit. I, I already checked. Uh, Ap Apollo has missed two turns, and Shenron missed one. Also, Shenron's down. Oh. But he, he would have gotten one turn before he went down. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna finish this, and then... Uh, you got hit by a terastalized floor, just moonblast, so it was 70 damage. Nah, I'm gonna spin that. Alright, uh, so, the rock slide, uh, because it's super effective... Uh, that is 26 damage to Apollo. And then, for Kingler's poison damage, is 6, again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so... Alright, uh, about... so... Let's run through this. Shenron needs one turn, and Apollo needs two. Yeah. And then, and then you swap Shenron out for another, for something else. So. Yeah. So, um, I'll go ahead and do the... The, the first Apollo was going, to, well, was going to go towards the... Well, I'm going to attack this one. Alright. So we're just gonna go ahead and just remember that Florigus is not actually a grass type, despite what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's uh, grass fairy, right? No, it's just no, fairy. It's pure, it's oh, pure it's just fairy. fairy? So yeah. which, which is why I thought you might go for Magnezone. 
Oh, in the end, that case, crush that. I can move my then. Oh, we know its special defense is at least above a 21. That, that is. is. <laughs> you, you get to add 2d6 to that. Thirty-five, and you get to see if it's burned. All right. Uh, so first the damage, and then uh, no burn. All right. Close, but no burn. All right. Uh, now do Shenron's turn, and then we'll do, and then do Apollo's other one. You were touching Incineroar at the time, so if you wanted to hit him, you can. Yeah. Um, I don't have any more, any more close combat, so. Is don't it, have anything is, fighting. Is that your that only physical only... move? Is that your only fighting move? No, he's, I see, he still has like, and, which is why he did the leopard thing, because he still had one more. Uh, then now he had four for the. Uh, for the. Oh, it's fierce. Okay, well, that auto hits, so you get to add another d8 to that. Or d10. Uh huh. Let's go d d. I think it's D10, but I'm not so D8. It is. I'm yeah, hovering it. It's D10. D10. So 27 becomes 36. All right. Good hit. And, and now then Shenron is down. down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but Apollo, Apollo would get one more turn because we skipped two. Yep. We'll get the man one more time with the same toy. Alright. Alright, let's see it. That down. Oh, yeah. oh but, actually, before Shenron goes down, would you like to roll a d4? Uh, four. Ooh, that thing. Oh, you missed it. I My d4 buff from Shaka is that on my next three physical attacks with Kong, I automatically par paralyze. As long as they hit, yeah. And it's the next three hits, not just the next three attacks, so... Yeah. You know what, they can... I... They can... I'm a, I'm a curious if that's a look at how we do on helping getting that thing down. I will see if we can get a dead D4, let's see. Alright, roll it. Wow. And literally what the every, fuck? every single time you guys rolled a four, except for one occasion where someone rolled a two, and then the next time they instantly got either a three or a four. I forget which. But all right, as Shenron is struggling to stay up, uh, Cade, you all you, you feel like you can hear in your head some very familiar music as called out from the sidelines. I didn't hear the song stop playing, so you keep dancing. And Shenron uh, is back up, is able to keep going uh, with half health. So it is at, it is back to forty health. Wow! Essentially, yeah, free revive. yeah essentially, essentially a free revive. And uh, before you do Shenron's next turn, which is now uh, Apollo, we've gotten two turns worth of movement. Yeah. So if you want to move, uh... if you want to move Apollo, go for it. And that yeah, also that is used up all your guys' NPC aid. Really? Like, yeah, the he... rivals are going to be something later, you we, said. Yeah. We haven't yeah. even used the rivals yet. Yeah, the rivals are something different. Okay, fair enough. Uh, again... I think I'll just be, like, here for now. Um, when... And Gen 1 would, like, stay up uh, stay here and would still go for... Uh, for hopefully another, uh... We'll try to kill him with another, a, um... With Horse. another, um, yeah. Alright. Well, it's auto-hit, so you can't miss. Which get is good, because every time you do Ore Sphere, you roll really low. Yeah. Yeah, what the fuck? So get that another d10. Yep. So 19 becomes 26. Alright. More good damage. Right. How low is it in the world less than half of that or is it still pretty it is, high? It is less than half. Okay, that's something. Okay, nice. So next up, Magnus Zone. Yep. And Dosh, Dosh is going down. Not if he misses. 
Magnuson is going to use Thunderbolt on Dosh. He might miss. He crits. Uh, well, he at least oh, he, well. He, he used it on something with zero, with almost zero health. So yeah, I so the, the crit that. was kind of wasted, but uh, uh, yeah, actually, uh, that was forty-five damage. Honestly, without the crit, probably wouldn't have killed. Oh but, well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's Dosh. Uh. All right. Well, you get to send in your next one. All right. I think. Uh... You're down yeah, to... Yeah, Dosh already uh, got a turn this one. Well, you still got Goliath, Artorius, and Dewdrop. I know who you should use. <laughs> Did somebody say... Hugs? <laughs> oh, yeah! boy! That's, that's, that's what I figured it would be. There he is! <laughs> Alright, cut his health down in half. I think it should be, like, 97. Yeah, because uh, we're, round, we're rounding down to the 7, not the 8. That's uh, so, what so. Brain. Brain. It's 97, just trust me. Okay. Okay. And I get to and then roll. I roll his speed. Yep, and Dosh did not get a turn this round, so... No, wait, no, he did. did. He? He, he did. He hit the Kingler. Actually, what was Dosh's initiative? I forget. It was pretty high up there with a 28. Okay, so yeah. Wow. So oh, you're also gonna wait a long time for a turn. Well, I'm well, pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you're that's faster than Apollo. Yeah. All right. So you get your turns back to back next time. For now, Velvet. All righty, well. Yeah, Sylvia. It only takes a hundred bucks to make the end of the stream because a hundred bucks is good money. <laughs> Probably when I probably do not. Uh, I I generally do not uh, count the special stuff during the D and D streams though. All right, I'm gonna try another try attack on uh, Incineroar. You're gonna try it. Come yes, on, I am. come on. Sweet. That, there that we hits. go. I hit that time. Eighteen yeah. damage, and you get to see what happens to him. Uh, hold on, hold on. Twenty-five, 25 damage. Oh wait, and no, roll your D ten. All your combines, that's another six. Oh yeah, plus six. Uh, 31 DiMaggio's, which is not too shabby, plus roll a d10. Alright. Damn it. Alright, nothing happens. Apollo! Sylvia, if I was a more popular streamer, it would be a thousand dollars because it, that that's a that's a number that I know people wouldn't do. Uh, Jero. Yep. Okay, you are still here. It's Apollo's turn. Yeah, sorry about that whole issue of war again. No, it's fine. I just wanted to make sure you didn't disappear again. No, you're gonna get tired. Uh. Um, from those two flame toes, what's the, uh, what's his health look like for a freaking Magnuson? Uh, he's not below half yet. I think really? your first, I think your first flame is the only hit he's taken. Oh, right, he took one flame that's right. Uh... Yeah, he's only been hit once because my mud slap missed, and then I just focused other stuff. In that case, hmm, we'll get to. Uh... Screw it! Screw it! Let's go for broke. gonna go ahead and uh, no but that would be I feel like it was you know one person uh no we just go for the same tour all right and that is that yep oh that's, Ooh, your that's third good one. damage that's your third one so you only get one more of those yep okay go two ahead. more d6 yep for super effective so that is uh 43 plus no, 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 yeah, yeah, super effective. 
Uh, 50 even. Hey, he's below half now. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering. Is he blind? Uh, no. Damn it! Dude, how many times have we rolled three on the D10 today? Yeah, what the fuck? I know, right? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, last time, all the status effects were going off for me, so, like, against me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Florges. All right. Probably gonna put Shadow on down for good this time. Uh, it's gonna try as it sees Shenron gets back up, and it's like, oh no, you didn't! And it's going to fire a moonblast at you. 16 to hit special. Whoa! Uh, hold on, 16 to hit? You gotta have higher than that. You got special, right? Yep. As the moonblast heads towards Sh uh, Shenron, he, he almost seems... He almost senses it co uh, coming up behind him, and he, as he just immediately like like shifts uh, uh, his weight to be able to do uh, uh, to dodge it as, as, as it misses him. Nice. It zooms on by. All and right. Faking, if it was if it was Danny, but probably would have hit faking. Uh, uh, probably would have hit faking. It's in but we can't do that. Yeah. Kong. Kong sees Incineroar go for that swipe at his. At his hands and he puts his fists up and he looks like he's gonna go for a body blow but then he sneaks in with an uppercut as he goes for a brick break all right uh, that's 25 with flanking uh, does not hit barely are you kidding me <laughs> they're megas all right. Well, I'm not going to use an... Ins I don't have an inspiration, so... I I'm not going to use Victory Star on that, because I have better things. So, it it's just a miss. All right. Just remember, Victory Star can't be used on things that have a, a negative to their two hit. So... Uh, nothing I have does give a negative, so it's fine. All right. Paul! Paul sees Flora just continuing to try to bully Shenron, and he's going to go for another Giga Drain on her to try to drain more of her life force. Ah, oh, that misses. Yeah, Floor just has a good special defense. God damn it! I have to wait so long for these turns, and then that happens. It's in a but, but he will move <laughs> up. This time, he will move up into melee range to try to take her focus off of Shenron. All right. As he uh, swoops down to five feet, and gets within her range. Incineroar is going to. Punch its hand into, it, into its palm before it gathers up dark energy and starts to spin around with darkest lariat. Uh, and that, that well, is, I'm I'm neutral in dark damage. Let's see. That is a twenty to hit physical for both Kong and Shenron. Misses. Physical, you said? Yep. Twenty to hit physical. Shit, that makes it. All right, uh, you do right, resist. You, you do resist because you're fighting type. Cool. Yeah, you'll you'll take slightly less. Uh, you take twenty three damage as a uh, as uh, Kong jumps out of the way and and Sinro slams its arms against Shenron. Yeah, like 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 this like Shenron just like takes the like. Even though he still takes damage, he just like puts his arms up and takes the hit. It just blocks every uh, 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 freaking every hit of the uh, of the la of the lariat freaking me uh, uh, freaking still standing his, his ground. All right, Kingler. Kingler is going to scurry up to Apollo, and then. Cling cling! It's going to uh, clack its its claws together before it tries to grab Apollo in a guillotine. That's not good. Twenty three to hit physical. Oh no! I think we determined that here earlier with the rock slide. Miss. Oh. All right. Ooh. As it goes in, tries to... What, what is your defense? 24, I missed by one. Oh, yeah. 
Nice. He goes in, and Apollo is able to dart out of the way, breathing some fire to force uh, Kingler to scurry back a little. And then, uh, poison damage. Three now. And it's just going to keep stacking. Come on, try to take out this big cat. Shenron! Again. You're not going to survive another hit, so just go with what you can. Destroy! And that was 2d6, right? Sorry, the, oh, no, no, that was d10, right? Oh, oh, you did Aura Sphere, okay. Uh, it is a d10. And I assume that's added Cineroar? Yes. You launch the Aura Sphere, it impacts Incineroar in the back as it slumps forward, trying to stay up. Incineroar! As it goes down. It didn't get, it didn't, it didn't end up happening, so I'm just going to tell you right now. Uh, Tim, and your guess is uh, in the chat, you were actually spot on. Mega Incineroar, when you hit a creature within five feet with a physical melee attack, they must roll a d4. On a one, they are grappled by you. I did. I forgot to have a Shenron roll it for this thing, but it wouldn't have mattered. So. Well, he never did a physical move. He always did all this here. No, uh, if Incineroar used one. Oh. Because he hit, he hit you with Darkest Lariat. But again, because you use Aura Sphere, literally nothing would have changed. Even even if you were grappled, nothing would have changed. So. So. All right. Now it's Magnazone. He says, ah! <laughs> Finally, a worthy opponent. Our battle will be legendary. Uh, anyway, Thunderbolt. <laughs> actually. Uh, disadvantage. Yeah, and that's why actually. Yep, he's instead going to do Discharge. Okay. So it's not disadvantage. So it's a 32 to hit. Uh, uh yeah. All right, that is 29 damage to Goliath. Oh, and, and a D6 for paralysis. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Once again, a three. All right. Velvet. Kill Shenron, uh -huh. he's weak. <laughs> Do, 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 do. So it's gonna slide down. She's gonna do a try attack on Florgus. You mean Florgus? Florgus. Florgus board. Twenty nine. Uh, that hits, yeah. So that's extra D twelve plus six. Uh, so an even thirty Dimaggio's roll D ten. Damn it, so close. The one time a three would have been good. <laughs> Goliath! Kill him. Alright, Goliath is going to look at Mandazone. Nod. And then is going to use Gallows Grasp. It is All time right. for hugs. <laughs> hugs! I, I like how. I just want to point something out. I made a giant beetle Pokemon with an executioner hood and axes for horns and giant ass claws, and Rhino turns him into a hugger. He. <laughs> <laughs> I just want that to be known. <laughs> All right, so that's a total of twenty-eight to hit. Oh right, because you have the the lens. It hits either way. Uh, all all right. right. And that's super effective. So just get at least a two when he's down. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Magnazone's down! No, he looked out his claws. Why must I destroy everything I hug? <laughs> uh, look at the freaking rabbits, it, George. Freaking <laughs> <laughs> in, 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 freaking, um, uh, oh, freaking, really odd parents, freaking Timmy's mom. Everything I touch dies! 
Oh, Jingle oh, Bug! Jingle bug. Yeah. 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 Are you supposed to come back with a throwing hand touch? <laughs> you really are just George from Of Mice and Men. One of my, fa one of my favorite things to fairly on parents, and there's not many, is is just is just like a Dad, what's this? That's my little box of joy. Oops, I broke it. Dreams. Or box of dreams. Oops, I broke it. Oh, don't worry, son. My dreams were shattered years ago. How many years ago? How old are you? How old are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't know, can uh, you really be the classic? Uh, this is where we keep our keep a trophy. If I well, had, I had one, <laughs> or, or also, or also, uh, just like, uh, uh, what was it? What? <laughs> no amount of therapy will ever make up for this. No, no, no amount of therapy. We did someone. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it was. Yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, Apollo. <laughs> Steel Boy uh, is gone, so now what are you gonna do? We only got two targets left, and neither of them are great for you. Well, thankfully for this one, he can still hit, hit the race, so what he can get hit by. At uh, first, he's going to. Uh, again, he won't take uh, he won't take the race, but he's going to uh, uh, take a bit of distance. So. Mm. All right, gonna try to uh, hit you with Crab Hammer. That'll be neutral, at least. I don't think that... That doesn't hit, I don't think. That's 21 physical. So, yeah, that doesn't hit. Yeah, that does not hit. Uh, and... Uh, enjoy, uh, 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 enjoy not flames, but dragon flames. Oh, no! That hits, yeah. So, that's 25. And... And on a one, paralyzed. No. But because but of your thing... But, yeah, but I have to roll again see if they get burned. No. <laughs> what yeah. the fuck? Why are all the D4s fours? <laughs> it's a one in four chance! Alright, next up is Florges. She's currently in melee range of Paul because he swooped down. Yep, so she is actually going to try to use Draining Kiss on Paul. Okay. You use Giga Drain now, she's going to drain it right back. Or she would, but that's a 16 to hit special. Nope, misses. All right, move on with life. Kong. Kong, looking at his fist still glowing with electric energy, is going to rush over to the Kingler, and he's going to go in for a Thunder Punch. Hey, yeah. That probably hits. Uh, that misses by one. <laughs> Why are they all maxed out? This is not a Mega. This this one he, his physical is maxed out and his D, his special is not. God damn it, dude! Come on. One thing I think I might do is uh in in, in later on I'll make it so, like you only get a stat boost every second level or something. Uh, that might require a lot of rebalancing, but like you still get the <laughs> HP and move, you just don't get a stat boost. Because I, I can't make my attack go any higher than this, but the enemies are always at a 26, so I have less than a 50% chance to hit at all times. That was a weird thing, but it, it, that, it, that not many things can max out the defense. It, yeah, I, 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 I might just need to rework Mega stuff again, because the way Megas are, they get a plus 3 to everything, and that's why they end up having maxed out stats. Uh, uh, Alright. Alright. Well, I did have enough movement to get more to heal. No, I'll stay over here, because he's about to summon more stuff next round. Alright. Paul! Alright, he's going to try to go in for his last fruit flail on Florges. Probably hits. Yep, that's physical, that hits. That is a 28 grass damage. Alright. It takes the hit, and it's going to use Cute Charm on you. Oh no, I can't hit it again. <laughs> As you are now... Right, the Charmed. That's fine. Kingler uh, is going to once again try for a Crab Hammer, this time on Kong. And that's a 16 to hit physical, so. Nope. Okay. Alright, now uh, 48 for damage. For poison. Yeah. Jeez! Yeah. There we go. Big jump. He is 
barely still up. I'm just gonna tell you right now, there is like no, there is actually, it is actually impossible for him to survive his next round of poisoning. Yeah, Malison has done about 40 something damage to this guy from the grave. Shenron. Well, Florgis is just a bad target for you in every way. Poison jab. <laughs> And I you know, there's a big one to do here considering, you know, pure fairy. You know, yeah. There's, there's Florgis and there's about to die Kingler. So you could have just Aura Spear Kingler guaranteed kill him. Oh! Uh, mm -hmm. Or do you have like sword stance or anything? I don't know. Remember, you can use an item on your turn. True. Hmm. I Please could stop making that noise, Jesus Christ! What? <laughs> the smacking your lips, you've done it like four times! Sorry. <laughs> there is something I could do, but it's risky. The floor just has very little health at this point, I'll tell you that. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm going to hope that the, uh, 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 uh that, that this pays off. Alright, you're... Oh, there we go. Alright. I'm being able to get the flanking because I forgot that uh, that I have just a thing for you. Oh, you're approaching me. Ah, uh, yes. And... Did, did he just Joe! <laughs> what? <laughs> you did it twice in one word there, please! I'm not trying to do it on purpose. <laughs> Talk about making a nice move. It's iron now. Okay. That oh. was uh, yeah, that hits, and uh, don't roll. Don't worry about special, uh, super effective, because she's down. Okay, ah! it's, just, it's just Kingler now, who's guaranteed going to go down to something. Yeah, like Velvet, it's your turn. Do you want Kingler to die now or later? Would you like to shoot me now or wait till you get home? <laughs> do you want to use another calm mind and just like Goliath? Hand? <laughs> yes, I do. Can't oh nobody, my. nobody wanted to be daffy to my bugs bunny. Alright. Goliath! Would you like to use Calm Mind? <laughs> no, but you said the thing's about to die, right? It, well, it, 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 it physically cannot survive its next round of poisoning. It has four health left, and at bare minimum it can take five damage from poison. Then I finally get to do something. As oh. uh, Goliath oh. is going to go down. He's going to get flanking. And he is going to use Fell Stinger. All right. Oh, what's that do? You miss. Uh, does a, 20, a twenty-four? No. Tw because 20, a twenty-five. No. Miss. It, it's its defense is maxed out twenty-six. Well then, fuck it. I'm going to use my reroll because I want this move to work. Damn it. <laughs> Yay! Hey! All right. Guess what? My attack stat is now raised by four. Uh, Kingler had a focus ban. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Okay. <laughs> I was about to have words. <laughs> All right. That, that's it for this round, though. He's down to his last six. Give me that plus four buff, and that's to, not just to damage. That's to just attack. So that's to hit, too. That. Oh, no, yeah. I did that on purpose. Uh, yeah, okay. So uh... I will not miss, hopefully. Uh, uh, what do I, what do I do for that? Y you, you can just remember that, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, just remember that, <laughs> and I'll, and I'll just have that there for the damage. Yeah, I did that. I, I remember I did it on purpose because Fell Singer like rarely ever works. I noticed. Yeah. <laughs> this is the first time it's ever worked. All right. Yeah, in all of history. All right. Catesby angrily grabbing. It. The final six Pokeballs that he has. <sighs> Go ahead and use an item if you guys would like to. I don't suppose using the synthesis move counts as an item. No. Okay, that's fair enough. I also just uh, realized that that is five hydrates in the chat. God damn it. I'm trying to waterboard Max. Uh, I'm going to use... Also, I'm going to talk about the freaking 
uh, not um, thinking, no, he's thinking, no, do that on purpose. No, it, it's I'm it's gonna... fine. I, I think you I think you've always been doing it, and I just noticed it here because for some for some reason you did it like four times in three seconds, and that and I, I started picking up on it. <laughs> Question: Leper's uh, the one that that uh, heals uh, moves, right? It heals yes, Le yes. Leper gets Leper gives a four PP to one move. Leper is right, a I'm gonna use, user, I'm, gonna use, I'm gonna use Leper on Velvet on Psychic. Okay. I assume uh, you can do that yourself. Yes, I did. I'm gonna use. Well, actually, I have two Pokemon still in the bag in case I need them. I'm not gonna use anything. All right, I, mean, I can use like a revive or a healer. Nah, dude. I Kong is still full health, and then I have Bahamut and Muramasa in the bag. All right. This is his last six, so let's see what he's got. It's All gonna right. be his best that aren't already out defeating hordes of other trainers. Well, hang on. Are you uh, are, are you are you using any item, Cade? Oh, um. Shenron would need a big heal to survive. Yeah, he would. The thing is, though, I'm also run out of, uh, well, like, it's all my dragon moves, but other but the fighting moves, I'm um, down to, like, I think, I want to say, like, two, uh, aura spheres? Yeah, I think two aura spheres, and you're down to your final flamethrower on Charizard. Yeah. Let me look through the inventory real quick. I've only got three Lepa Berries, and I still got three Hyper Potions, but I don't really have a reason to use any of those. Unless you really want Shenron to stick around. Why can't I open my... Hello? Hold on, I'm gonna have to re re refetch real quick. I can't, open, I can't open the inventory real quick. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Let's see. I think I will go ahead and just so we have at least like uh, so I can have at least uh, if need be for the at the ready. I think I will go ahead and do, do my last half potion on oh not my second my second last half potion on uh, Shenron. All right, I believe that basically gets it back up to uh, if... well, it should be half, but yeah, 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 full full quote unquote. So yeah, back to eighty health. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. All right. we're, we're, we're in the last volley, and we don't. And we 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 anything. So. All right. You are really getting on my nerves here. Hmm. As he is going to send out his final Pokemon, as he sends out Agron. Ooh, Ooh, okay. All right. Quad, quad, well, it's quad week to fighting. Oh, Shenron? Volcarona! Ooh. Ooh, okay. Bug fire. Electros! No weakness. No, we no weakness, assuming it still has levitate. Well, I mean, why wouldn't you? Swacking! Kill it! Oh. <laughs> oh. And Garchomp. last one. Oh! oh there's a lot of priority targets here. It's, yeah, it's there a, is! Surprisingly, not a Mega Garchomp yet. Eh, give it time. How about to say, as you say that? <laughs> yeah, how does it feel, Catesby? Knowing your brother's on the other side of the shield and he's rooting for you to lose. <laughs> the My... whole region is rooting for you to lose. 
they won't be for long. As uh, he is going to uh, touch the stone on his hat again. And yeah, Garchomp transforms. <laughs> well, it's, oh, still, boy. It's, it's still quad weak to ice if we have any of that. Not out. <laughs> I still have ice punches on Kong if he's allowed to hit anything. That'd be nice. All right. Throw those on. So do we continue on from Apollo's turn or do we restart? I forget how we were doing We, 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 we tend to go back from the top. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let me get out the their sheets. Do any of them spawn any weather effects when they arrive? Uh, that is that is another thing that I'm checking currently. I don't believe they do, but we'll see. Uh, let me, uh... Alright, that's that. Mm. Also, slacking has a shitload of speed for what it is. It it's moves meant to fast be when it wants it's to good, move. It's move it's good across the board, it's just not allowed to be good. Its special attack is good for some fucking reason. It's just not yeah. allowed to do anything. Just the whole gimmick is it's good, only sometimes. The Corona. Well, Agron ain't going for a while. Electros was also quite slow. All right. Is Mega Garchomp actually slower than Shenron? He rolled low on the speed. Oh wait, no, that. Oh, that's what you mean. Uh, hang on. Let me actually check. What is Shenron's speed, uh, Joe? Hold on. Uh, I think he said nine earlier when he summoned it. Yeah, I think it was nine. Hold on, I can double check. Mega Garchomp's got to be. Is that Shenron, than that. right? Yeah. Yeah, it's nine. All right. Yeah, Garchomp is faster. All right. Uh, so we are starting from Paul. So am I touching the Agron right now? He is within five feet of you. Yes. He's quite smooth. Yeah, well. This will be neutral damage, but I'll try to go for a Giga Drain on it. Eh. Oh, I hit. All right. Uh, I get I do, I do 33 damage, so I heal 16, which puts me at exactly nice. Ah. Also, uh. Actually, that is reduced by one because friend guard is active from Agron. Oh, so I do instead uh, 32 damage, so I still heal 16. Okay. All right. What did I do for friend guard? I'm trying to figure out what the icon I used for it was. I don't remember. I, I really and should. I, re I, I really should make a list of these. <laughs> Paul is going to fly below Agron in order to give Shenron flanking if he wants it later and to maybe get some distance away from Electros. And that is my turn. Alright. Uh, I'm double checking real quick. Um, no. 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 Alright. There are no uh, there are no weather effects. Alright. Alright. All right, so that was how much damage, sorry? 32, and that was my final Giga Drain, if I recall, because I missed one on Florges. All right. Because Agron is steel rock, so it's neutral damage. Yep. All right, guard jump. Once it's come out, Garchomp is going to sharpen its claws against each other as it uses Swords Dance. Oh, All right. no. Uh, and after doing that, it is going to uh, dig underground. Oh, Bitch. no. Uh, Kong, I'm so sad for you. 
It digs pretty far underground. It digs 40 feet down. All right, we're not touching it this turn. Also, also I realized why I wasn't using that cra uh, that crack thing uh, for special defense, because I use that for dig. I'll figure something else out. All right, Shenron. Question. Yeah? You know what? Never mind. I'll bring it up on my turn. All right. Shenron, help, help me take down Mechagodzilla here. I am amused by that reference. I need to add Godzilla. I, mean, I, need, I, I, I mean, want to add good. Godzilla Roar to my soundboard, but I can't find any good quality ones. I, mean, I, think I, have, I think I have a good one that might work. You got to go for the classic. I know. I got to get the classic, but yeah. they all have, like, background music and shit. Yeah. Fun fact. The original Roar was a leather glove on a violin strings. Uh. <laughs> Right, anyway, uh, yeah, considering considering oh, the hard wick the thing the, right here. The long one. Hold on. Where is the there it is. I'd recommend checking out videos on how they make movie sound effects behind the screen. It's really cool. Jesus but, Christ, Jero! Well, well, that is uh, doubled. I, that's also doubled. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be dead here. So that's a twenty-seven. Plus, uh, hey, Jero, you rolled well on Aura's feet. That, that's uh, 94 damage off the bat to Aggron. 94, yeah. lower to 92 because of Friend Guard. Plus the 30-something uh, I did earlier. And Aggron's dead. <laughs> so two rock, the two Why rock are you people like this? The two <laughs> rock types. He didn't do anything to you yet. Uh, <laughs> Dude, the two much, rock I'm going to go <laughs> like this I can. <laughs> with, with this, all this going on and freaking doing this, Kate just like goes uh, go, and go like, uh, freaking, we came too far to uh, end this now. We're going to show, uh, we're going to show you that we're gonna, that, that we're gonna win this no matter what happens. Sh Shenron, all a sphere. And as he does so, he uh, he constant uh, he concentrates all of his dragon energy into the all sphere. It almost looks like the all sphere itself is almost going from blue to tinge green from like the aura, dragon energy and he just launches it straight for, uh, uh, straight towards the uh, uh, towards the Agron as he hits them dead in the chest and launches them flying over to uh, 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 to land on the, uh, on the, uh, on the uh, at his feet unconscious. I love Jero's well, passion with this. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Dude, that, that is three times he scored a crit, a crit on a quad move. Yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But yeah, uh, but yeah, that, that, would, that would be Shenron's turn. Not gonna move at all. Just gonna be there. Oh, uh, and actually, in that case, there is the threat over here. Well, it's underground. We can't see it. Yeah. Oh right. You, well, you know where the hole is. That's why it's visible. You don't know what where it, underground it is. Well, we'll focus on the thing that has no no, no damage, so he's gonna focus on him next. All right. Yeah, I like trust is gonna take a bit because it has no weakness. Volcarona. Uh, Goliath, not so good for you. Double checking Volcarona's speed. All right. Volcarona is going to get here. Oh no. And then Volcarona is going to. Uh, Pour flames out from its wings as it spins around in a fiery dance. And as it does so, Catesby holds up a Z crystal. Oh, oh no. This is gonna suck. Don't you kill me before I could use the effects of Fell Stinger, you bitch. Uh, that is a 21 to hit special. No, it hits me, damn it. Hits me. All right. So I haven't even gotten to hit anything. I've missed all my attacks by one. All right. That is 46 damage to both of you because the Z crystal maxes out the damage. Oh, Jesus. boy. Well, now I have two Pokemon that are nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, you got you guys here. 
System 2 offline. What? How? Is that good or bad? That's it sounds like one of the screens went down, but he wasn't yeah. anywhere near it. You turn to look? Well, yeah. Yeah. Roll perception. Uh, I don't have my sheet open. Let me see. Hold on. So Rhino has 20. Uh, no, I'm, yep, the only one, 20. I'm, I'm the only one. Well, you guys beat me with your passives. Actually, no. I did beat Jero on that one because his is only 17. All right. You briefly, uh, Aiden, as you turn around, you briefly see movement, and as you as you look towards it, whatever it was has disappeared. Huh. But you do see that uh, one of the control, uh, one of the computers, is has just been completely physically, like shattered. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Bad. He's playing dirty. If all, yeah. all those go down, we lose. Yeah, the thing goes off. Uh, all right. Slacking. Uh, <sighs> uh, this is first turn initiative, so Truant does not activate. As he's going to get up, stretch, shake himself off. And... Uh, Bum, 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 bum. And he's going to look at he's going to look at a at a at Apollo. And he's going to lift up one of his fists and he's going to uh, he is going to slam a fist against Apollo in a Giga Impact. Oh boy! Twenty-seven to hit physical. Well, we know uh, that hits. This is gonna hurt. Ah! Uh, Unless he rolls terrible. Actually, yeah, uh, he's going to hold up another Z crystal. What, you can do um, that more than once per turn? Uh, he can do it one, he, he can use one Z crystal per Pokemon, but the Z crystal uses themselves are infinite. Wow. That is how it will apply to you guys as well. If as we, we get them. We live. I mean, this guarantees his next turn he doesn't get to do anything, but that's still going to hurt. That is 63 damage to Apollo. I think he's just barely up. Ow. Slacking does yeah. have Truant. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just Truant does not activate on the first turn. He has 62 also, damage. We also uh, nerfed Truant a little 63. bit just so it's not completely dampening. Yeah, it's more. Also, it, but yeah, and he also, has what, six, did he hit, six, what did he hit with? Giga Impact. Oh, and that was and I was only twenty six, right? But it was twenty nine, I think. It was twenty. No, yeah, tw it was hit. a twenty seven to hit. No, yeah, that would have hit. Yeah, and so, yeah. Uh, gig, but gig, the Giga Impact also guarantees he doesn't move next turn. Yeah. Also, yeah, the way we do Truant is that uh, on the start of your turn you roll a D four. On a one you skip your turn. On a two or three. You are essentially paralyzed. You can move but can't take an action or use an item. On a four, you take your turn as normal. Whenever you get a uh, whenever you get a one, two, or three, your next turn is essentially considered to be an automatic four. So you can get two attacks in a round, but it's not it's not often. In a does row. getting a, does, does turns, getting right? a four does, does getting a four two times in a row guarantee that your next turn after that is nothing? No, but it means you st you still have to roll. So it's technically possible for Slacking Geek to get infinite turns. But I also will say yeah. s the stun that he did does not take over his truant turn. So he will have to okay, roll so the next time he actually gets a turn. I was, I was wondering about that. So he could potentially do nothing for two rounds. 
Yep. All right. Velvet. All right. All right, Velvet. What you got? Still in here since the beginning of the fight. Yeah, things are looking a little dicier. Velvet never gives up. The ice cream is eternal. Velvet is going to. Also, of course, it's getting dicey. Rhino, it's Dungeons and Dragons. Uh huh. Hey. Velvet is going to move there, and she is going to use Psychic on Electros. All right. Maybe? That hits. Oh, wait, nice. really? Yeah, Ele Electrox has no weaknesses, but its defensive stats aren't that good. All right. It's also a mixed attacker, so it's split. Uh, all actually, right, 39 uh, Dimaggio. Sorry, uh, 41 four. Dimaggios. Those four call mines are doing work. All right. Good hit, good damage. And next up is Goliath. Yep. I'm bogged. Now, now, now is a question I had, Max. Yep. Because the way Earthquake works is that it deals extra damage to things that are on at least five feet underground. But Earthquake's range is also uh, not too far past that. So because Garchomp dug really far underground, would Earthquake still hit it? No. Ah, so things have to essentially be shallow burrowing for Earthquake to be used Yeah, like that. generally that's for Pokemon that you that use the move dig. Yeah. Gar Garchomp used a dig speed. Mm. Volcarona is neutral to Earthquake because it's bug fire. Think of it as how like thund right. Thunder is particularly good against flying opponents at a certain height, but they can also just fly higher than that. Alright, Aiden is going to use a Hyper Potion. Oh, alright. Oh. <laughs> okay, I guess. Don't you dare kill me before I get to use my, uh, my attack up through healing! <laughs> Look, sorry, you took a lot out of me with all those Z-Moons, but now you can't use those anymore from those, at least. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, he's back to 97. Apollo! Here's a question. If a, a creature is recovering from a big move that requires something like that, do they not get an attack for opportunity anymore? Uh, correct, because they are considered... I forget what, exactly what it is, but they are considered stunned, I think it is, so they don't, don't get to take actions. That's good. Truant, however, does not prevent attacks of opportunity. I will but say that. Stunt for, for using Giga Impact, so you could fly away from it. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I was adjusting my inventory. There we go. Well, it's Jero's turn. And sorry if that was a little anticlimactic to all, but he was on 20 HP. He was going to die for the next thing that hit him. And that's I him no, that's fair. I just find it fun and funny that you were like, don't you dare. I must use my race attack. Earthquake is super powerful. All right, done. Yeah, well, then I realized it was <laughs> it was out of range, so there was no point. Now, he can't still move if I use an item, right? Because I essentially used the whole turn. You can move. You can move. You use your action on the item. Okay. Uh... So get yeah, you know what? I'm, okay. uh, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm going to have uh, well, Valor have moved here because he can't oh. attack. I mean, Wait, the actually, the I will, I will uh, take oh. off ten feet in the air. Ah, right, you can fly. All right. Uh, I'm you because they're all in line. I'm gonna go ahead and hit both Volcarona and Slackoff. Try to hit him with both of the Dragon Breath. No, I'm still touching Volcarona. I'm just okay. I'm not touching the ground. Correct. Also, all, all right. right, go ahead, go ahead, Jero, with the Dragon Breath. Oh my god! Jeez, it's not quite effective because it can't be with Dragon, but still. Okay, neither of them are super affected by this, but it's still 24 plus 16 for 40 damage. 40 to both of them. And they both have to roll the paralyzed and burned. Yep, so, uh, alright. Uh. Unless Volcarona has the fire ability that prevents being burned. It does not. Volca Volcarona paralyze. Volcarona burn! Hey. Slacking paralyze! Slacking burn! Every night wow. burn! <laughs> wow, that's crazy. I was gonna try to paralyze one of them with one of my abilities, but now I don't have to. You you still can! The, they stack! 
Yeah, I'm thinking they only got burned. Or the only second yeah. got only second got yeah. burned. And and you okay. you, you, you could inflict multiple status conditions on a thing. That's what makes facade so strong. Alright. And speaking of you, it's you. Yeah. I don't it's have you. flanking. Yes. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I don't have I don't have flanking on anything versus slacking. But I'm gonna try to go in for a drain punch to undo some of the burning that afflicted me from my last attack. All right. Come on. That hits. Yeah, that absolutely hits. Go ahead and roll the super okay. effective and auto paralysis. All right. Paralyzed. That so that is 26 plus three for 29 damage as Kong uses his ghostly energy to absorb some of Slacking's well energy that's not being used right now. Which is most of it. it. <laughs> As he punches him, uh, let's say, yeah, punches him in the gut. He probably turned around to follow Apollo as he was flying around. All right, so, so I, I believe did, that, yeah, I did 29 that's... damage, so I, I heal 14. Yep. Uh, yep, that's correct. And that is my turn. All so right. So that's one of my three paralysis down. On e, e Electros's turn. Uh, Actually, it, in fact, because it's paralyzed right now and Volcarona's paralyzed... Volcarona's not I'm paralyzed. Gonna... Oh, okay. Uh, it was it was a it was a one to get uh, to, to get paralyzed, so it was... I'll stay away from slacking, even though I'm a ghost type and don't have to be afraid. I'll just move over here in case. All right, Electros. Catesby is once again going to hold up a gem that fills with power before sending it at Electros. Terrestrializing it into electric type. Okay, now it's just a super electric okay, damage. Yeah, it, yeah, it just it you know, essentially just get more damage. You know, so. Yeah. Inter I, interestingly, not using any of these to change typing or whatnot, but electric only has one weakness, so why would you? <laughs> exactly. All right, and now that he's done that, He is going Nothing to. Nothing on our side is weak to electric, at least. He's going to turn to Shenron, and is going to pull back and unleash a barrage of blows with close combat. Oh. That is a thirty to hit. Oof. Uh, twenty-eight damage to Shenron. Is that with the minus two from his close combat in effect? Oh, right, yeah. Uh, 30 damage to Shenron. I actually forgot about that. So let me actually boop. And I still don't know what to do for lowered special defense. I forgot that Electros is like actually a mixed attacker. All right. Paul, the favorite of all. All right, Paul, Garchomp. Paul, Paul, Paul. Garchomp is still hiding. And the whole show, Bill, 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 Bill. Paul, 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 Paul. Paul, Paul. Uh, Paul is going to look at the current field and see what's going on. And he's going to hope that Apollo can survive as he's going to Ignite the sky with a sunny day. Oh. Hoping ah. that a Apollo can live long enough to get some boost out of it, as well as himself, as he's going to move over to here. All right. Also, let me get rid of that charm, because you're no longer... Forges is gone. All right. So, all fire-based moves on our side only are buffed from the sunlight. All right, Garchomp is going to come out of the ground. Actually, he, do he doesn't come out of the ground, but well, actually, no, he might be able to do this. Yeah, OK, he, he, can, he, can, he, can, he can still do what I'm trying to do. OK. He is going to uh, uh, 
underground is going to get over to here and then come up to the surface. And as, uh -oh. he, as he pops out, he slams his scythe hands down on the ground with an earthquake. Uh-oh. That is going to hopefully hit Shenron and Velvet. What you got? Uh, 30 to hit physical. No, okay, yeah, that, that, that is both. Velvet's finally taking damage. No. All right, and that is because of the swords dance. And Shenron and will take child. And, and being Sh mega. And Shenron will take even two more from this. And stab. 42 damage to Velvet and 44 damage to Shenron. That could have honestly he? been a lot worse. He's down, isn't he? He lives! Oh, you get one more turn. <laughs> And he's, he's out of speed, so he's still here. <laughs> get him while you it's can, It's like the things Joe. he just hit just rotate on spot to face him. Pretty get him much. Can. Get him while you can, Jero. He's going to run. Well, just why, but before he can duck back down, he's going to go ahead and see it with this. Yeah, that hits. Uh, that hits. Okay. So right before no. um, it looks like he's going to drive back down, all of a sudden he just... Um, God jump just gets hit with a face full of uh, uh with, with uh gets hit with Shenron's fist in his jaw as he uppercuts him with a dragon claw to put to get him uh, uh to, to to get out of the hole like you're not going back down there. All right, oh, that's another D12. Yep, roll the super effective. Yeah, so uh, 20, 23 becomes. What was with what? Twenty twelve. One D12. One D12. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Uh, uh twenty six. All right, give me just a second here. Hey, look, we didn't immediately obliterate the, one of his Pokemon. All right, that is 26 damage didn't to Garchomp. did start this with an Aggron? <laughs> yeah, I didn't see an Aggron, did you? That is 26 damage to Garchomp and 13 damage to Shenron because of rough skin. Shit. Oh, you killed yourself. <laughs> and also uh, to explain, Mega Garchomp. Your rough skin trait now deals back half damage rather than one third. Oh. Yeah, you you, de you you definitely killed yourself. As you yeah. go for the hit, but as, but as you do, Garchomp slashes back at you, del delivering a counter attack that takes Shenron down. Well, Shenron, that, leaves, turn. that leaves Gerald with just Dune again or Razor. Nobody's used their starters yet. Yeah, there are aces in the hole. It, for, it, it would be more dramatic if we pulled them out last, but I still have one other thing to go before that. Dune, stand up for battle! Did you want him to be that close? Also, he should have more HP than that. Yeah, I'm fixing that right now. Ah, the Dragon Ground types having a party. A murder party! <laughs> All right, Sh Shenron did get a turn, so Dune is going to have to wait a long time. Oh, uh... Also, shout out to Falcone on on YouTube uh, for making this uh, this cover. Yeah, dude, uh, dude is gonna be well. waiting. I'm very, <laughs> yeah. The Pokemon we summon in have to wait so long, but we get a lot of turns in a row. Volcarona. is gonna go for another fiery dance. Uh, it cannot be Z moved. Uh, thirty-one to hit special. God damn it. All right, that is and because of the sun, which does which means it's an extra Oh, enemies benefit from that? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's only abilities where it, they don't. Okay. Uh that is extra stab, so All right, the stab was pretty low. That is 
34 damage to Kong. Owies. All right. 39 damage to Goliath. And uh, if Apollo was in range, he'll take half. Yep, which means he takes 15. Or sorry, uh, 17. I'm not good at math. <laughs> if you know how, how much? Huh? 17. 17. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. And uh, slacking doesn't get a turn. But, uh, oh, wait, Volcarona takes burn damage. No, Volcarona's not burned. <laughs> oh, I thought we, I thought we rolled over. No, earlier, Slacking was burned. Way. Slacking is the okay. only one who got affected by that. All right, well, Slacking doesn't get a turn. All right, well, first, uh, everyone roll Perception. Okay. No. That, that might do it. Okay. The only way the only way Jero beats that is with a, a, a nineteen or higher. Jero. What? Roll perception. Oh my bad. No. All right, Aiden. You hear something behind you, and you turn to look. Just in time for system three offline. What's going on? As you turn and you look, and you see next to one of the computers right near you. A small figure that appears out of a portal hole. <laughs> oh. A Hoopa? What the hell, dude? Before disappearing back into the portal. What are we supposed to do about that? I don't well, know. Well, now that you know it's here, everyone roll perception. It, okay. I just close that sheet again. I, I close it and I open it. <laughs> You'll keep, keep the sheet open and then oh, i on. <laughs> oh, I rolled above a 20. All right. All right. Uh, Travis and Aiden, since you both saw it, I'll say you, you're able to just point out to Cade where it is. Uh, as now that you realize there's a Hoopa here, you look around and you're able to see uh, where it is, where it is as it's kind of like watching the fight. Is it inside the bubble? Yes. Give me a second here. As it is currently it is currently over here. Great, now we have to beat it in three turns. I will say, now that you know it's there, they, uh, there are going to be opportunities for you to stop it from breaking things. Does anybody have a dark type move so we can use to take it down? All right, so that that was the Hoopa's turn, and now, uh, slacking. Doesn't get one, but he burns. Yep. It burns. <laughs> All right, Velvet. Oh well. Got any fairy you hurt me, sir. Touch. <laughs> As she, is going to, as she is going to use Draining Kiss. Remember, you take damage for contact moves. You raise a good point. Back away. Uh, well, here's the thing. What? Um, so if a creature within five foot hits you with a physical attack. Oh, okay. So it, well, it, it, so even continue. even though even though you are, it, 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 it's weird. It, I don't know why it's special, but it is. So. Okay. Right, here we go. Oh my god. Oh, that does, do you want to use your reroll? I don't have it. I already used it earlier just to get fucking 
a fell stinger to hit. Oh, damn. It does not hit. Why do I? But now it's the one who has been fell stingered. To be fair, Rhino, I think I know why you keep missing. You you have been consistently going after the Megas and Tanky guys, which makes sense. Like, that's the smart thing to do. I'm just saying, I think that's why it seems like you've been having bad luck. Well, I also or, struggle to roll above a 10. That, is, it because that, he, is it because he keeps rolling threes and fours? That is also a factor. <laughs> Jer also got a bunch of threes and fours, but he did it on an auto-hit move. All right, in that case, Goliath. Uh, looks to Volcarona is going to reach down to the ground he's going to angle right here <laughs> and is going to use rock slide you don't want I was, I was going to say you don't want flanking but yeah okay I'm doing a cone so I hit him and the slacking so uh, uh, do, let's, you, do you hit the slacking I think flanking too far slacking is 20 away Sorry, I had to zoom out a lot because Hoopa is now involved. That's that is that is fair. Uh, yeah, slacking slacking's too far. But what if I screw it on you? I'll, 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 I, because of the size difference, I'll allow it as long as you don't end your turn there. Okay, I scrunched up on him. Okay, so yeah, right. you, you're so yeah, it's aiming for both of them this time. Come on, come on. So that is a total of hold on, thank you. Uh, Twenty four to hit. <laughs> 24. Uh, uh, so 23 with the minus one. Uh, believe it or not, that hits. <laughs> oh. All right. So that is uh, 29 plus four, which is 33 doubled. 66 to Volcarona. And then and 33 to Slacking. Yep. Assuming, right. slacking, assuming Slacking's physical defense is only 23. It is 23 exactly. Woo! All right, I did something there. <laughs> All right, that means now it is time for Apollo. Dragon Breath again. I could, but I remember. Just remember, uh, how weak is this thing? Look, uh, Volcarona is looking very weak right now. I mean, he already got hit with both things, and I believe in the uh, upon his dragon breath again. Um, Not on yeah, this, I think, however, I think, we're, I think one of us is gonna have to freaking go back to Hoopa, though. Uh, none of my things are gonna be able to get that close. You know what? I will say I have noticed something that might be a, uh, a better idea for you, Jero. Um, let me guess. Not quite, but that also works. You could go beat the shit out of Hoopa. Could you, though? He has ranged attacks. If you could, if you could miraculously paralyze the Hoopa, that would be great. Worst case scenario, we beat Hoopa up a little bit, and then I use the containment ball on it. I don't, uh, I don't think that'll work if it's already... Well, do we need to hit both of them? Uh, no, you're one away. Then, okay, then from... Here. Uh, yes, but your head is up for Corona's ass right now. If, well, set, uh, we'll have it, I'll probably be flying. Okay. All right. See if you can get him. We don't know Garchomp's special AC yet. We're gonna find out. Come on! Maybe? That hits slacking. It does not hit Garchomp. Damn it! Uh, so only 20 damage to slacking. All right, Dune. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do something rework-wise involving the the megas. Maybe I'll have it be a plus three to everything except their defensive stats or something. I 
I guess theoretically I could also just like use the actual mega stats and make them into like a separate Pokemon sheet. Mm -hmm. Alright, what's Dune got? Oh, what a nice little landing spot right here. Bonk! Oh yeah, uh, because you can get a... Well, you're not going to get Electros because it's floating, but... Earthquake? It, oh, that's not going to hit. That that doesn't... Well, you still have your reroll, but the damage wasn't great. That was actually pretty shit damage. I don't know if it's worth the reroll. Yeah. Up to you. I think I do the re gonna, if I can. I forgot about the rework if I'm gonna go down for the, for the Dragon Breath on this thing. Would you have done it on the Dragon Breath? Because the Dragon Breath didn't get very good damage either. True. It, it, it got even worse damage. Yeah. I'll leave it to you, or do you want to use it on the Earthquake? No, I can. It got very little damage anyway. It wouldn't have been worth it. Alright, Kong. Kong is gonna move down we'll move once back. again. Oh, no, and actually, no, no, if you're going to go for flanking, then yeah, I'll stay here. Not to mention, you would get attack opportunity by guard. Well, that's fine. Yeah, right there is good. Uh, he's going to go for Conga! another drain, another <laughs> drain <laughs> punch. <laughs> Come on. 26. That hits. Nice. Uh, that is 29 plus 10 for 39, meaning I heal back 14. Uh, no, you heal back 15 because you did 31 damage and slacking went down. Oh. It's, you guys nice, were beating nice. the shit out of slacking, to be fair. It's a legendary and all but name. All right. Okay, and then I'm going to move back to where I was so we spread out a bit. He just punches his fist in the air, proving himself the superior primate. <laughs> Electros is, after seeing that, is going to launch a thunderbolt at Kong. Oh dear. Uh, twenty-four to hit special. It mm. does. All it's right. Just neutral damage. 28 damage. Could have been better. Ow. And okay, I've been hit three three times, so if I use Rage Fist, I get three extra days. And D10 against Paralysis. Nope. Alright. Paul. Paul is going to make a ris all. risky move. From where he is, he is going to channel the sunlight energy around the arena right now. He's going to absorb it, and ugh, fucking character sheet went all wonky. Okay, there it goes. Uh, he is going to use, well, there's two things I could use, but I, uh, one is potential for more damage if I hit. He's going to go for a solar beam on the guard chomp. All right. No! Yeah, sorry, that does not hit. Uh, do, you th do you want my reroll? Hang on. It would only do 36 damage. Do you think a reroll is worth that? Because it's neutral. Point. It's up to you. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to try to fly closer to the Hoopa and go over here. We do right. need Mega Garchomp down. I just don't know if we might need it for something else. I'll leave it up to if you. You sure, Jero? If you, if you really feel like it'll help, then you do it. Rerolls are a myth. Eh. Sorry. Well, Garchomp is between a, a rock and an ice cream place. And it's going to try to use Dragon Claw on Dune. Are you sure it doesn't want to use Dragon Claw on Velvet? <laughs> I mean, it might as well have, because it got an at one. Oh, thank God. Don't worry, guys. Ooh. You're not the only ones who can roll bad. All right. Volcarona, uh, since it's really surrounded now, is going to use its last fiery dance. This is going to, this might kill me. Uh, 16 to hit special. <laughs> and this is all of us. 
Yep. Unless this. All right. This is all of us. Very nice. All right. Hoopa. Uh, now that it knows you've seen it. <laughs> is going to... Uh... Is going to oh. uh, do kind of a... Do kind of a, a, a loop in the air as it flies around a little bit and uses nasty plot. Obviously, it just opens up a portal in the middle of the ocean and throws Aiden into it. <laughs> it can't quite do that. <laughs> All right. Velvet. Question. Yep. Did we just go top of the round? Uh, no. No, that was on Paul's turn. We went top of the round. Right, never mind. I mean, I want to see if, if I could try to... Uh... Do a perception roll with anything on Hoopa. Uh, I'll say you can. I'll say you can roll that. I'll say you can roll that now because you probably would have done that at top of the round. You just didn't know it was top of the round, so go for it. Uh, you do not see anything on it from this distance. Uh, since Travis now possesses religion proficiency, is there anything he knows about Hoopa that we could use against it? Uh, go ahead and roll religion and find out. That's a no. You don't know a whole lot about Hoopa. It's uh, it's definitely a, a, a rarer Pokemon, but it's not one that's quite... It's not quite legendary. It's also not from my home region, so that makes sense. It's also mythical. Anyway. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Uh, do you want to do anything with your uh, trainer turn that would have at the top of the round, Aiden? Uh... Been so long since we actually decided to use such things. I think I think what Aiden would do is try and park himself in front of one of the remaining on computers just to make it more difficult for Hoopa to aim for it. All right, those are monitors. I would say the closest actual computer that's still working is here, which is probably still within your speed. Okay. So yeah, you're yeah, you're, Aiden, you're Aiden's it, taking up a defensive stance around it. All right. Uh, here, let me actually mark the the ones that that have been destroyed. Because uh, right at the start, uh, it was uh, when he like at the very start of the entire combat, he destroyed this one with that with when he Garganacle like threw a rock, and then Hoopa has destroyed this and this. Those, and those are the those are the ones. So basically, you are the two right behind you, and the one uh, over here are the ones that are remaining that are actually keeping the thing up. All right. All right. Uh, Velvet's turn now. All right. She is going to try and kiss again, but now we're flanking. <laughs> Gonna kiss your flank? What? Crit. Oh. So right. first, let's add another two D twelve. You mean two D six? You mean two D six? Well, uh, gets... no, this is from the double stat. Oh, from the orb. Okay. So two D six and two D twelve and another plus eight. Well, plus sixteen. Well, does the crit double that? No, I thought that was only on quad no, damage. The, the numbers don't go up. The dice do. Ah, right. Sorry. All right, so we have a total of... 19 plus 14, which is 33, plus 30 is 63. He's right. I will be taking all that health back. So you, right. get healed, you get healed back for 31. And, okay. uh... Yeah, he is... Barely above half. Oof. For compare, uh, bear in mind that was like the first, like he he took like a minor hit earlier, but that was the first major hit against him. So that was a good portion of his health. That was uh, that was about half his health right there. Or it's like that one. It's like that one scene in Powerpuff Girls where they kiss the rowdy rough boys and they just explode. 
Uh, I didn't so, get that when I was a kid growing up. I was like, why? Because cooties, haha. Anyway, Goliath. Uh, All right. You only got one target. It's barely alive. Blake in the chat That's is celebrating because I. Good. Blake in the chat celebrating because I said it's mythical. <laughs> uh, Goliath is going to look to. Hmm. He's going to look to Volcarona and is going to use Body Slam. Wait, what? Yeah, tackle it. Come on and slam. And welcome to the peanut, peanut butter. butter. Yeah, I'm glad That's... I corrupted you. I had a dream the other you. night. I had a dream that hits. Uh, so that is a 25 to hit. Yeah, I had a dream the other night. Uh, also, for the record, uh, that, de that that defeats Volcarona. All right, because that was a 23 total. I had a dream the other night that was... Uh, it, and like, after that, uh, um, Goliath, using his speed, is going to go... Vroom. Ah, the fighting type runs up to the psychic type. Good idea. Look, I have to stop him somehow. <laughs> yeah, I had a dream the other night because I had recently, because uh, at that point I had recently rewatched the Sam Raimi Spider Man trilogy. And a major part of the dream, I don't remember everything from it, but a major part of the dream was Venom was there, but he was made of peanut butter. What? what? Yeah, that's that's what so I thought when I woke up. Chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, Jero gets his two turns. Apollo is barely still up. We know Garchomp's AC is insane, so just do what you gotta do. That's it one more time, come on. Maybe? It does not hit. Oh Ugh. my god. Everything's at 26. <laughs> I mean, he, he did Max roll below half. Yeah, also, he did roll below half. So, or yeah. below average. But yeah. Well, that's for, him. that's for him. He has a plus 16. I have a 13 on all my attacks. Yeah, I will definitely be updating Megas. At the bare minimum, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the plus three to their defensive stats. So it'll only be to their attacking stats and their speed. All right. Oh, uh, what's Dune going to do? What's Dune I think doing? Like, I think it's a 26 both ways at this point. <laughs> he has to try something, so even if it hurts himself. Go big or go home, fuck it. Oh, there we go. So the damage That's been, 20s. You so get the that, damage should have been better, damn it. You get that four more D8, Jero. All right. Remember, he's going to take half his own damage to himself. So that's 20 plus 3, 23, 21, 43 damage. So Dune takes, uh, how much is that? 21? Uh, 21. 21. Dude takes 21 as you take a big hit to Garchomp's back. You slam right into Garchomp the back. He stumbles forward, not having expected a blow of that magnitude. Kong. Kong is going to rush over, and he's going to coat his fist in icy, ghostly energy as he goes for an ice punch on Garchomp. Come on. It doesn't matter that that missed, because I'm using Victory Star to auto-hit. All right, good time to use it. So that was a uh, 23. 20 doubled to 46. He is very weak right now. What the fuck? We can't do any damage to him. He's not dead. He's holding on with four hit points. All right. Well, I did uh, 46, so I take 23 to myself, so I'm barely up. All right. Electros. But roll to see if he's frozen. Oh, right, yeah. No. It's okay, right. though. Uh, Electros. Is going to look up at Paul and is going to come charging at him with a wild charge. Okay. 
23 to hit physical. Uh, I think that might just barely hit. Uh, yeah, that is my AC. All right, that is 25 damage. 25 damage since it's neutral. Uh, and they, I take one quarter of the damage dealt, so 25, 12, 6. Do I roll for paralysis? Nope, not for this one. All right. Oh, sorry, hang on. I actually forgot to do the terrestrialization damage. It was... Okay, take another two damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I was going to try to finish Garchomp off, but now I have disadvantage if I were to try to hit him. So I'm going to make use of the sunlight that's still available and use Synthesize. It's going to be back up to 110 health. All right. Let's see. You use Sunny Day... Then you would try to uh, use Solar Beam and Mist, and then this, if this is you wouldn't use uh, Synthesis. So the so you have this, this one more turn of Sunlight. Yep. So I fully recover, back up to 110, and I can't really go anywhere without Electros getting a free hit on me. So I'm just gonna move a little bit so I don't get out of its range. All right. Gotcha. He's surrounded on all sides. Yeah, and he's going to Earthquake. Oh, bye, Kong. It will not hit Dune because of uh, Levitate. Dune doesn't have Levitate. Yeah, he does. Flygon has Levitate. Really? Oh, weird. It's it's yeah, it's it's kind of random, but he does. Uh, uh, it, it won't it won't hit Apollo because he's flying. Yeah, yeah. So it's only on Kong and Velvet, and that's a twenty-one to hit physical. It misses Miss. by one. All right, it hits nobody. Kong sees the ground shaking, and at the very last moment, he jumps up into the air, avoiding the shockwaves and the rubble that comes up toward him. All right. Hoopa sees uh, that it has uh, a friend here. Hello, I'm a distraction. Well, and also it's, a, you're due. it's a psychic type, so that might be bad for you. Look, <laughs> it, at the very least, it gives us something else to hit that's not a freaking auto-lose thing. It waves its ring around a little rosy as it's going to use Psychic. As dis okay. disadvantage? Yep. <laughs> Unfortunately, Goliath is fairly easy to hit with special. Actually, uh, quick cor actually, correction. It is going to use Zen Headbutt. Ah. Oh. And that is uh, 20 to hit physical. Physical? Yes. Yeah, that doesn't have the physical move. Oh, miss. Oh, all right. Boba, take it out. You have longer horns than it. Uh, all right, Velvet. Velvet, finish take him it. Out. All right. Kiss him to death. Velvet, he's. Yes, it's gone. You recover two health. <laughs> Woo! The only thing left of the electros of the Koopa. And the Koopa. And, the, and then she will slide over to here. Slide to the left. I, yes. This is, wow. <laughs> We're actually going to... Well, I can't say this yet, because who knows what will happen. But so far, we have a lot of remaining Pokemon left, and Velvet's still in since the beginning. All right. Goliath. Hit him back. You got any Dark-type moves? Uh, Let's see. No, but you know what I do have? X scissor. It's part ghost type, so that'll be neutral. Oh, it is? Oh, okay. yes. I didn't know Hoopa's type. Psychic ghost. Okay. Uh, X scissor. Uh, 30 to hit. Yeah, that hits. For 29 damage. Yes. Yee. Apollo. First. Uh, Cause he's got the zoomies. He can at least go. And. Just enough. All 
right? Yeah, we need to try to stop this thing now, so you can see all the time to do. Sorry, Hoopa. Uh, he's gonna try to take, to take it out with the with the strongest fire that he can. Uh, so he's gonna to gather the energy into into himself as he's going to try to blast the thing with a fire blast. All right, all right. See if it hits. Yes. Yeah, that'll hit. And the sunlight is still going, so you get to add another D10. Yep. Oh All my right, god, so okay, that's... so that is 42. 42 damage. Yeah, yeah. And see if and it's D4? burned. And yeah. D4? Nope. Oh, <laughs> so close. <laughs> yeah. All right, Dune. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Electros is immune to all your ground type moves, but. Gentlemen. What's we'll the. Can... Let's see if I can finally get a big hit in this time. Oh! <laughs> He's gonna get I mean, in position! Electros can't do anything to hurt you, so not bad. Kong! Kong is gonna run over to this. Floating electric eel. Yeah, and... freaking. We'll focus on that. You focus on the eel. Yeah, he's gonna channel all of his rage into his right hand as he was charging in with a plus four power rage fist to try to take it down. Hiya! That hits. I get, I get to add another 46. So that is a total of. 29 plus 13 for 42 ghost damage. Becomes 44 because of the earlier close combat. All I know right. it's probably not gone yet because nothing's hit it, but at it's, least it's, it's good not damage. gone, but it is very low at this point. All right, Electros gets its turn now. Yep. Uh, it's going to try to hit you with a Thunder Punch. Kong, I'm assuming. Yep. Also, uh, because you hit it, yeah, it uses static on you. You're paralyzed now. It's okay. All right, and now he has Thunder Punch. And it misses. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm going to assume it misses. That's a... Uh, yeah, because that's 21 physical, and you said earlier, so... Miss, misses, misses by one again. Yep, I knew, I knew a 21 miss. All right. Paul. Paul is... How far are you? Uh, too close. Uh, Paul is going to reposition himself a little up and aim a uh, air cutter this direction to get Electros. Air cutter? It's, it's his only physical, it's his only melee move he has left. Everything else is ranged. Ah, okay. Uh, 22 to hit physical? Yep, yeah, that hits. All right, that's uh, 22 flying damage. All right, uh, with the resistance, that's minus one, minus four, so minus five total, becomes 17, becomes 19. Right, I forgot. Well, I didn't and, have much of a choice. And it goes down. <gasps> yes! It's only Hoopa left! Okay, so I move like two, so I'm gonna move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everyone get the gremlin! Hoopa's like, wait, no, I see that JoJo meme. <laughs> <laughs> Kate's B is going to call out Hoopa! And Hoopa quickly disappears into a portal. Reappearing, oh, is he about to... reappearing next to him. Oh, is he going to teleport himself out? As Kate's B is going to uh, pull out. Oh, no. Yep. A glass bottle. Yep. Oh no. Yep. As oh. dark energy begins to uh, emanate off of the bottle. Guys, so I don't know much about Hoopa, but I've heard rumors that it has a bad side. And the dark energy swirls around Hoopa and it begins to grow. And okay. grow and grow. Oh. And grow. 
I was about to say, wait, how big is this thing? I thought it was just like person sized. Oh no, this thing's huge. It is. It's the final boss from Sonic and the Secret Rings. What? Never played that game. No. The final and boss of that game is the final boss of that game is also a pink genie. And it, here is Hoopa. Hoopa Unbound. Unbound. Well, this is quite the Pokemon to give us the ultimate as the ultimate pick of the final boss. Now, Hoopa, destroy them! And Hoopa does not move. Oh, it's too powerful. As Hoopa looks down at the mortal attempting to command it. Bitch, did you read my title? I'm unbound. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Destroy them! Uh, you, you can't idiot. Com you can't command a, le a, a, a legendary, especially one that you suspect that you disrespected. Do you realize is, what you've done? This is always what happens when people try to control too powerful of Pokemon. Hoopa, you belong to me. You will listen to... And Hoopa grabs him with one of his large hands, squeezing tightly. You hear cracking noises as the Pokeballs on his bandolier begin to shatter. And then another portal opens and Catesby is sucked through. Uh, did he, did we just watch someone die? We watched someone go elsewhere, which I'm admittedly relieved for at the moment, but I'm also annoyed. As Hoopa, angered, turns to the rest of you. Whoa, hey, we didn't imprison you or turn you <sighs> into this. this. This isn't between us. We just want to go home. <laughs> I want to save my home. As your words, uh, go ahead and go ahead and roll animal handling. Okay, uh, I rolled pretty good. Again, mm. cool, cool. Again, I'm gonna go find the one. Koopa, you don't have to do this. We don't want to fight you. Oh, come on. <laughs> you can also you can also roll you can also throw uh, it. Yeah, uh, I, mm. mine's the best, and it was only an eighteen. I have a plus ten. I'm sad. As Hoopa does not seem to register your words, as it stomps on the ground, gathering energy around all of its hands, it still it wants. It has a lot of hands. <laughs> whether it whether it's being controlled or not, it still wants to destroy. Well, that's uh, this is a twist. We're coming up on time right now, so that's good timing. As Hoopa is now going to uh, fight you by itself. I guess that would have been too easy when we saw so many Pokemon in reserve. Uh, I feel like we could probably finish this today, so I think we should keep going. I mean, I'm fine with that. It's mostly up to Rhino and Jero. I'm uh, going to keep going for another two long. I do have work tomorrow, but still. Do you want to end here to be safe? Because I, I, we, I'm pretty sure this this could be wrapped up in the next thirty minutes. I think next time. Okay. Sorry, I know it's a little bit of a cliffhanger, but I want to give plenty of time for like the epilogue and what happens after and such. All right, as. Hoopa seems to be overtaken by the power that's come out of the bottle. It is... It is savagely looking upon you, seeking just to destroy and fight. And that is where we will end off. I, I guess that's it. Okay. <laughs> no one said anything. Yeah, okay, I wasn't, wasn't sure what else to say to that. That's yeah, I thought you were going to add more to, more flavor to it. I was going to lie. No, I, I I didn't expect it to end, to, to end here. I thought we, we would have been able to finish everything here, so. All right. All right.
Nah, it's fine. That's, this means I can, I can build it up as a, as a bigger boss fight for next time. Especially then, I don't know how much stuff you have left. Uh. Oh, look, I suddenly find myself a ton. <laughs> Alright. See you all next time for the battle with Hoopa Unbound. So is that a nose horn it has, or is that just this other horn I'm seeing coincidentally? Uh... Probably just its other horn, hang on. I, I think it's just perspective. I don't think it has a thing on its face. Although, it looks like it does have at least a dark spot on its face. It has... It, yeah, okay, it, it doesn't look very, very obvious in the freaking model. But yeah, you are actually seeing both its other horn and also a sort of nose thing that it has. Here, let me pull up a... Let me pull up its, like, regular artwork, because it's more obvious there. Also, I did not realize how repetitive this song was, so... <laughs> like, it's done the same thing, like, four times. <laughs> Alright, uh... Hoopa, hoopa. Okay, grab that. And yeah, so here in just a second is uh Hoopa and Bounce. Like it's a it's a, it's official art. The art honestly looks better than the model. Oh yeah, there's those detail lines. Yeah, yeah that, I, that, I, that, I, think I, I think I might I it's sometimes I've I've using the models for legendaries and mythicals because it generally looks better and makes them stand out more. Here, I think it makes it look worse. <laughs> All right, then. All right. Farewell, everyone. See you next time for the fight of your lives. Oh, we were already in that. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>